this is all um, hoodies that we got. They're already online. A lot of you has already bought them. So this is just uh, the, the surplus hoodies that we need to uh, update the stock with, you know. Think hey guys, so we're getting the bicep scan today. Be nice just to say it was 100%. It still feels a little bit off, as in it's still a bit stiff and certain movements I can just feel pain. So if it's not 100%, can't really crack on with training, so it might be an option to do some PRP treatment. But yeah, we'll see what the, the guys say. It's Clinic, Clinic M, this place is called. Are you nervous, that, by the way? Um, yeah, a little bit. I'll probably get a little bit sweaty and hot and like anxious. Just, it's just how my body responds to things. Um, so yeah, feeling a little bit apprehensive, but also happy because this place is only 40 minutes away from us. You know, it's up in Inverness, um, as opposed to you know going down to see Doctor Suresh uh, and Rush. It's, it's brilliant. You know, they're fantastic what they do. But just to get a quick scan in Inverness, it saves a like a full day, almost a day and a half. Um, what did you do? It was that competition, so mm. after World Strongest Man, I just, I couldn't do any, that rotation. Yeah, 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 so yeah. it was just really sore. A friend in London that does it as well, so I was down in London, and he scanned it, and he saw, it looked like it was a hole in the tendon itself. Like it, was, it wasn't fully detached. Right, so you thought that you'd lost a couple of fibres on the tendon itself. Yes, yes. Well, we correct. can have a little look and see what we can see. Yes. When I first came back from Old Strongest Man, I wasn't training. And like, when I woke up in the morning, my arm was like, I just couldn't, like, it took a long time for it to open up and to okay. to get movement in it. And what they say is to to still train, because you need to get that new blood flow into that area to aid, oh. um, aid recovery. So I'm just hopeful that it's, it's we're almost there now in, in recovery. Um, sounds, sounds positive, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I, I hope. I know you guys, PRP as well. We do PRP, but oh. we also have Shockwave. Oh, right, you've got the Shockwave. Uh, yeah, oh, so yeah. Shockwave might be a good modality for you yes. at this point oh, in time. Nice. Right, you ready? Yeah. So just forward flexion and up over the top for me. That's cool, down. Chinese restaurant, lucky cat job, yeah? <laughs> Let's have a look at you, yeah? That's a bit restricted there. Come on up. Yeah. Any pain, discomfort, anything like that? No, just, just stuff. Just pop your top off for me. Yeah. Just have a quick look at your scap, give it. So shrug your shoulders up, shoulders down. Now forward and over the top, like Superman for me. Good, and then down. And just do a wall push up for me, would you? Right there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Well, the shoulder seems pretty good, uh, no, uh -huh. to be honest with you. Okay, now, arm out straight for me. How does that feel? Um, there's no pain. No pain. Just not as like, strong as it probably should be. How does it feel? No pain, there. that's good. I'm going to try and twist you that way, and okay. you're going to resist. It's fine. Jesus. Yes, yeah, so, <laughs> a bit better than that, so. And yeah. go the other way, yeah. Yeah. For me, your biceps function, I mean, as I said, you're a big lad. Uh -huh. It's not quite as good on that side as yet. Yeah. But it seems to be, it seems to be okay at the top end. Your shoulder function's good. Uh -huh. What we'll do is have a quick look with the ultrasound okay. now and see what's going on awesome. in there. Thank you. Because I'm quite happy with the rest of it. But I'll scan through your biceps long head and that at the top okay. end as well. Oh, perfect. So should we do that? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. You do anything for sweat? That's a question. Because I sweat an awful lot for, for sleep. Like, I don't know if it's an anxious thing or if it's a... Do you think it's an anxiety thing? I don't know what it is, because I've had it for... Oh, since I was 14. I remember being in school, and sometimes you just break out and sweat. Right, grab a seat for a second. So I put my t-shirt on? Yeah, you're fine in flexion, uh -huh. but when you try to twist, yes. so when you're twisting... Yeah, right. It's this long head at the lower end. Oh, so it, to me, at the moment, clinically, it's the distal long head biceps right. tendon. I don't think I've scanned such a big shoulder. <laughs> it's a first for me too on this one. <laughs> Hopefully it'll pick up something. Well, there is a shoulder there. 
<laughs> there is some bone underneath all that muscle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cute God. Honestly, a doctor's nightmare. <laughs> it's certainly a challenge in terms of getting the ultrasound energy, the sound waves, to travel such a long way through the muscle and give me a nice picture. It just looks to me as though he's uh, he's got uh, a shoulder that's seen a lot of wear and tear. Mm. But it just shows somebody who really does use a shoulder. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> Mm. Incredible. We know that we've had a quick look at the tendon at mm -hmm. the top end, which seems okay. Yeah. So let's have a little look at the elbow right, uh, okay. tendon. Yeah, so what we have there is that's the, see that pulsy thing? Mm -hmm. That is your um, brachial artery, mm -hmm. okay? And then you see this white shadow underneath it. Uh -huh. As I move your wrist, can you see You've got some material moving there. Can you see as I do that? You can almost imagine something winding on and off. Yeah, yeah. That little cotton really thing there. See oh. it? So that's your biceps tendon oh, that in that be... area there. There's the artery. Uh -huh. Here's the radius. Uh -huh. Here's your biceps tendon. Okay, right, right, right. Yeah? Right. I've definitely got some fibers attached on. Mm -hmm. You can see that. Then it looks like there may be just a little gap there just there, right in the middle. Mm -hmm. You've got little white specks, little black bits. Yep. We're just not quite getting a nice clean wind on and off. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering if shockwave to that area might be a good option. I think we do shock, we'd be okay to try the shockwave. Yes, absolutely. I don't think that's gonna have a negative impact. It's not, it's not gonna have a negative no, impact. No, I think. Now there's a lot of evidence that if you take ACL healing, for example, or any tendon healing, yeah. that uh, shockwave accelerates the healing. Oh, Let me tell you now, I've seen a couple of guys who've been pushing cars and torn the soleus on the Achilles. Right. And I've done three shockwaves for them and they're pain free and strength yeah. come back. So, so really I think that's akin okay. to what we're going to try to do yeah. for you, yeah. is to just promote that healing of that distal end. Mm -hmm. I'm going to deliver the shockwave through here, mm -hmm. which is a sound wave, right. which is going to go into the tissues. Right. The sound wave will organise the inflammatory response to healing. Mm -hmm. It will stimulate growth factors and various other things, release pain relieving substances, etc., from the tissues and the cells. Okay. And this promotes healing. What you will feel is a rather unusual sensation. Mm. It's like a um, prickly, sort of weird feeling. You may feel it going down to your fingers, you may mm -hmm. feel it going upwards. What I need you to do is to give me some numbers. I'm going to ask you to call out some numbers for me. Anywhere between zero and nine, mm -hmm. zero being you can't feel anything at all, to mm -hmm. nine being, yeah, that's, that's pretty it, painful. Right, okay. And I'm going to aim for about five or six okay. on the scale that I want. So remember, we're going to try and target that tendon in mm -hmm. here. And you're going to tell me if you feel anything at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit weird. Yeah, now if I come down into here. I can feel that, and that's getting up a little bit. Give me a number. It kind of four. Four, yeah. It's like a deep, like a... Ache? Ache, yeah, like achy kind of. So you don't, like it throbs, so it's like, oh, it's weird. This is ginger and turmeric, oh, anti-inflammatory, yeah. mm. okay? I want you to take his face when he has this, right? So this will uh, th um, be good for his viewers. Now it's like a shot. Right. Whoops. Sorry, uh, Luke. No, don't take it yet. Wait, oh. wait, wait until you're ready. Arms up. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's not like the Tesco's ones, I tell you. It's oh. worse. Oh, yeah, monkey. Oh. Wow. That will help you enormously. Really, yeah. Yeah. That, that, it tastes like it should help you. <laughs> yeah. Like a shot a day or. or... Yeah, at least. Shot a couple of times a day for a oh. big lad like you. <laughs> Swig the bottle. <laughs> so guys, that was the little bits and pieces done. I got ultrasound on the bicep. So it is repairing. It's attached as we, as we knew from before. So rather than go for the PRP, 
trying the shockwave, um, which will enhance or hopefully speed up the recovery process. So I'm going to do that another two sessions. So a week today and then two weeks today. I'm going to do that and then look at it again and hopefully we'll see a, a noticeable improvement. I feel that I'll probably start to throw in some uh, more event-specific training probably next week. But again, just keep airing the side of caution with, with things, you know. I'm going into deadlift later on today, so turn around 320 for, for rep, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, so just on the IV at the moment, so this again is like a recovery IV, so um, it'll help with inflammation, which will be good, so take inflammation down as much as we can. Come back, get another scan, and we'll see some big progress. That's a that's the hope for me. See, I'll probably be another hour and a half here getting IVs and stuff, so... I'm just gonna make myself comfortable. Yeah, we'll get a wee chat. I'll get a chat with Shane later, give you a wee update and see what the plan is for going forward. So looking forward to getting back to training and prepping for the shows. So we'll see you then. Bye. That's we just back in after getting the bicep check. So I had 320 today um, with a stiff bar. It's feeling okay, deadlifts. It's only only three reps. I don't think I'm 100% confident yet just to really struggle through some reps, but um, I'm going to do another two reps with that just to see how it feels. So I'll do a total of five reps today, but biceps feeling okay. Um, so I think I can almost start to push a little bit more with it. You know, with the shockwave, like three courses of shockwave should hopefully help a lot as well. So, but he said to operate on a traffic system, so green, amber, red. So green, no pain. So when I'm deadlifting, there's no pain, which is good. So I can carry on with that. Amber, so say any bicep kind of curls, um, there's a bit of pain still when I do that, but afterwards it doesn't carry on, so it's fine to do that. If there's pain throughout and the pain doesn't go away, obviously don't do that. So just want it to be okay, just want it to be 100%, but it's not quite there yet. So Big Tommy sent, sent us through some bits and pieces as well, so he's looking, he's starting to look really good, really pumped up for, uh, for the Shaw Classic. I strong as my honor, sorry. I might show you a couple of clips coming up, so. Um, we'll probably do an update next week about Big Tom and how strong he's looking. So that's my little update done. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, smile, stay safe, and stay spicy.